this is Lance and I'm going to talk about the Chrome extension Captura, Capture Cast. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with when you have first enabled access to your webcam and your microphone, then you need to actually turn these items on. And you can adjust the level by which you want them set. So that's my microphone. You can also turn on your webcam. Or if you have it attached to a document camera, you can adjust it so that way it's accessing a specific document camera. Another thing that you can do is you can adjust the resolution of the webcam. If you're not going to use a webcam, but you're going to use it for a screen capture, you can select the desktop. You'll choose what display you're using. You'll just select internal display. And then it will prepare to record what you're doing on your actual screen. If you want a preview window, you can actually set that up. That might be a good idea if you're doing the webcam recording. I'm going to go ahead and do a practice recording right now. So you can see how it works. And right away it kicks on. It's ready to run. It's recording right now. And when I am finished, actually it's recording this part too. So when you're actually recording, you may actually want to maybe click off to the side, start recording. When you're finished, you can click back up here. It'll drop down. And when you're finished, you can also stop it. My recording successful and done. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to go to Manage Media. I need to find my recording. Here's my recording right here. So I have some options here. I can play it. I can upload it. I can download it straight to my computer or I can delete it. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to rename it. I'm going to give this a test recording and I'm going to choose the upload button this time. Because what I want to do is I want to choose to upload it to YouTube. Now the reason why I want to do this is because this video I want to be able to store in YouTube and not only that but I can download it into a format called mp4 and that's the format that I really want it to be in. So I can choose to upload it to YouTube or Vimeo. If I want to download it straight from here I can as well. Go ahead and choose YouTube. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a tag and I'm going to publish it. The first time I try to upload to YouTube, it's going to ask for permission to access it. I'm going to hit allow.